AESU. Uh, with AESU. My name is Angela Demopoulos. I'm the Senior Director of Alumni Engagement and Outreach with the University of Maryland Alumni Association. The Alumni Association partners with AESU to offer trips to our alumni as a way to stay connected and engaged. At the end of our program, we will be raffling off several giveaways. So be sure to stay with us through the end of, through the, end of the program for your chance to win. This evening, we have with us Christine Gaelic, um, which she will be sharing um, three upcoming trips designed specifically for our alumni uh, 35 and younger. So with that, Christine, you can go ahead and take it away. Okay, thanks so much. Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us and thank you for your interest in our Young Alumni Program. Um, as Angela mentioned, my name is Christine Gaelic and I am a travel coordinator for AESU Travel. And what I'm gonna do today is highlight three um, upcoming exciting tours that we have this fall. I'm gonna introduce you to a couple of our incredible tour directors, and I'm just gonna go over some general information about our Young Alumni Travel Program. Um, so we will have an opportunity for questions and answers in the end. And in all, uh, we're looking at about 40 to 60 minutes for the session, just kind of depending on how many questions you guys have. Um, so before we get started, I'm just gonna go over a few general housekeeping items. Um, so this session is being recorded. If you'd like, you can go ahead and make sure that your mics are muted and your video is off. And as I mentioned, we will be doing questions and answers at the end, and you can use the chat feature to submit any questions that you have throughout the presentation. Um, so AESU has been partnering with the University of Maryland Alumni Association since 1999, taking recent grads and young alumni on journeys of the world. Um, ASU specializes in designing and operating educational trips for young professionals since 1977 and traveling with us is going to mean traveling with like minded people typically in the same age range and with similar backgrounds. Some benefits of traveling with the young alumni travel program with University of Maryland, these itineraries are designed especially for 22 to 35 year olds and the trips are themed to provide unique experiences for you. Um, they're shorter, so you'll only need up to five vacation days to travel, and then they are value priced and packed with inclusions, and we offer optional activities to help style your free time, whereas all educational activities are going to be included in the land package. Um, so I'm gonna mention a bunch of trips today, and you can always go to aesu.com umd to see the full list of trips that we're offering. So as Angela mentioned, we will be doing a giveaway. So what I'm gonna do is present a few poll questions throughout the presentation. And those are anonymous. You can go ahead and answer your best guess. You don't have to be right to qualify, um, but you do have to participate to qualify. And then at the end, we'll be raffling off. Um, we have an ASU travel voucher for $100 that can be used towards a 2021 or 2022 young alumni trip. And then we have a few TERP cookbooks as well as University of Maryland uh, duffel bags. So the three trips that I'm going to be going over today are Morocco, Portugal, and Peru. Um, I see lots of people answered our poll as far as interest. Thank you for doing that. And I am going to go ahead and get us started with our first poll question for Morocco. So though it is a part of Africa, Morocco is separated from Europe only by the Strait of Gibraltar. How many miles separate Morocco from Spain? I'll give you guys a second to answer that. Okay, so the correct answer was eight miles. All right, I'm gonna walk you through the itinerary for the Morocco tour, but real quick, gonna introduce you to your tour director, Jesse. Hey there, your ASU tour director, Jesse here. So I've heard that you are interested in visiting the magical land of Morocco. I can't blame you there. Morocco has so much to offer and is truly unlike anywhere else. So here at ASU, we've put together the best of the best to introduce you to the Western Kingdom of Morocco. First up, a traditional tagine cooking class where you can flex your culinary skills and learn all about the spices of Morocco. 
Next, wander through the vibrant markets full of handmade goods, sip on mint tea, and soak in all of the culture. Feeling up for a little adventure? We'll hike through the high Atlas Mountains, through ancient villages, or feeling a little bit more mellow, then head out to the beach for the afternoon, gaze over the bluest Atlantic waters. Camel rides? Of course, we'll be riding camels through the desert on this Moroccan adventure. Or feeling like a little bit more R&R, &R, then treat yourself at a traditional hem and spa. I can't wait to travel with you. Buckle up, who's ready to come with? See you. All right. All right, so day one is gonna be your travel day. You're gonna to want to make sure you check all your travel documents, arrive at the airport early and enjoy your flight. On day two, we'll get ready for the adventure of a lifetime in Morocco. On our first evening together, we'll meet in the hotel for a special welcome orientation dinner with your tour director and fellow travelers. On the morning of day three, we'll explore exotic and enchanting Marrakesh with our local guide. We'll see stunning sites such as the El Badi Palace and Bahia Palace, as well as the city's main square, Jama El Ifna, where one can find everything from snake charmers to acrobats. After a lunch of local specialties, we will explore the souk and shop for everything from leather goods to Moroccan lamps and traditional crafts made from metal and wood. Later on, we'll continue our adventure with a camel ride on a rocky landscape of the Agafé Desert. Then this evening, we'll enjoy a gourmet Moroccan meal with stunning views of the Agafé Hills, watching the sunset play with the changing colors of the scenery. On day four, we'll explore the electric blue garden created by French painter Jacques Majorelle in the early 1900s. These grounds are shared with the museum dedicated to the iconic designer Yves Saint Laurent. And while fashionistas will certainly enjoy this exhibition, the library houses a number of rare books that might interest others. Finally, we'll visit Morocco's beautifully curated museum, the Berber Museum, exhibiting collections of jewelry and traditional dresses. This afternoon, enjoy a traditional tagine cooking experience. Learn how to cook local dishes and discover the secrets of some of the best Moroccan recipes in a professional yet casual atmosphere. Afterwards, sit back, relax, and enjoy your delicious home-cooked meal together with your newfound friends. Day five will be a free day to explore Marrakesh on your own. If you prefer an intriguing excursion, you may like to join our optional hike in the Atlas Mountains or enjoy an exquisite Royal Hammam Spa experience. Tonight, we venture out to Jama Al Ifna, arguably the single most mythical location that comes to life at night. Enjoy a guided walking tour and discover the square's nonstop energy. You'll see fortune tellers, snake charmers, and acrobats, and you can try a juice, camel milk, or some grilled meats from the famous street vendors popular with locals and foreigners alike. On day six, we will bid farewell to Marrakesh as we make our way west towards the coast and the seaside city of Usura. Today might be your first time tasting Moroccan wine. The owners of Val d'Argan Winery are of French origin and are and also own a winery called, I'm um, sorry, in Chateau Neuf de Pop. These wines produced in Morocco are not exported, therefore it is a unique opportunity to taste the Val d'Argan Red, El Mogador Rosé, or the Orient's Blanc. Decide which one pairs best with your lunch of Moroccan specialties. If you've heard about the benefits of argan oil for skin and hair, you'll be very interested to visit our Argan Oil Women's Cooperative. Learn how this miracle oil is produced and sample the magic essence of argan. We continue to Asura with its atmospheric Medina, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, its colorful bazaars, and a center that bustles with open air restaurants and cafes. After a dinner of local specialties at our hotel, head out and explore the city's nightlife. On day seven, we explore Asura's walled Medina, which dates from the late 18th century and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Walk the narrow streets, admire whitewashed buildings with decorative wooden doors, and enjoy the serene atmosphere of this seaside village. Browse shops offering traditional Moroccan wares, including wood, wooden goods carved from local Thoya wood and local spices. In the afternoon, we explore the beach on a quad bike tour. Ride through the dunes and alongside the ocean, then ride through a fishing village and discover the ruins of the old Sultan's Palace. 
After watching a stunning sunset over the Atlantic, the evening is free for your own adventures. On day eight, our journey continues along the coast to Casablanca. Although it is not Morocco's capital city, it is the country's largest city with a thriving economy and an array of cultural venues. Hassan II Mosque is Casablanca's landmark building. Having employed over 10,000 of the kingdom's artists and craftsmen to build, today it is the largest mosque in Morocco with the tallest minaret in the world and a stunning display of Moroccan and Andalusian architecture. A local guide will share stories and history of this grand work of architecture on our guided tour today. Then you'll enjoy some free time to further explore the city or for some last minute shopping before our farewell dinner at Rick's Cafe. It was designed to recreate the bar made famous by Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman in the classic movie Casablanca. Share stories of your Arabian adventure, post last minute images on the band app and start following your travel companions on Instagram to ensure everyone is on board for a reunion trip to another spectacular country. And then on day nine will be our travel home day. So this tour is going to be taking place from August 14th to the 22nd of the year. And the land package price per person in a two share room is going to be $2,498 per person. Um, there is a deposit due at the time of booking, and that's going to be $500, which can be used as a secure spot on the tour. And then the final payment date for this trip is going to be June 17th. Um, the maximum group size for most of these tours is going to be 35 people. And then you are welcome to bring fan, uh, sorry, family and friends, even if they're not uh, alumni from University of Maryland. We just try to keep them within the same age range of that 22 to 35. Okay, so next we're going to talk about Portugal and I have the second poll question for you guys. Okay, so Portugal is the world's largest producer of what environmentally friendly product? All right, looks like most of you got this one right. The answer is cork. Now we'll have a quick message from our tour director, Vera. Hi, it's your ASU director, Vera here. I'm so excited that you are interested in exploring Portugal with us. Portugal has been one of our most popular vacation destinations for a long time now, and I am sure that it will absolutely win you over concerning its affordability, the sights, the tastes, and the culture. Sweets like pastéis de nata, delicious wines, and amazing coastal wines are just the beginning. There is so much to explore and to experience, like Lisbon, Porto, Tomar, and also Coimbra. I can't wait to have you started on this adventure with me, and I'm sure you're going to love it. And besides, we have also yoga classes in there, so be sure to join. See you there. Ciao. All right. So again, day one is going to be your travel day. Um, you'll want to arrive at the airport early with all your documents and enjoy your overnight flight to Portugal. On day two, you'll start your Portugal adventure today by exploring Lisbon. Make sure to explore the neighborhood of Belém and take some selfies at the Henry the Navigator Discoveries Monument. Our afternoon city tour will be a super fun tuk-tuk ride through some of Lisbon's famous neighborhoods. And during tonight's welcome dinner, you'll get to try some of Portugal's exquisite delicacies firsthand. Day three will be your free day in Lisbon and there's so much more to see and do. Consider joining us for an optional excursion to Sintra with its misty forests and beautiful palaces that give the town a sense of one entering a fairy tale. Historical and picturesque sites include some of the medieval castles of the Moors, the National Palace of Pina, and Quinta de Regalera, just to name a few. The optional excursion is available for $155 per person. 
On day four, our journey south to the Algarve coast takes us through the Alentejo region. We'll stop near one of the beaches for an opportunity to go on a horseback ride along the coast. The cost for this option is $90 per person. If you prefer, grab some food or a coffee and relax by the ocean before we continue to the most beautiful southern coastline of Portugal. The views from Cabo de Sao Vicente, the southwesternmost point of mainland Europe, are stunning. Make sure to take lots of pictures and tag the end of the world. Our final stop today is Lagos with its picturesque beaches and buzzing nightlife. Explore the charming city center during free time, shop for local crafts, and enjoy local foods at one of the many cafes and restaurants. The Algarve stay might just turn out to be your favorite part of this adventure. Okay, on day five will be your free day in Lagos. You can enjoy the breathtaking beaches or opt for a kayak excursion, which is offered for $45 per person. You will see some of the most magical caves and hidden beaches only accessible by boat or kayak. Snorkeling equipment will be provided if you'd like to explore the crystal clear waters. And then our beach barbecue tonight will be an incredible spread of fresh local ingredients. You definitely won't go hungry. On day six, our adventure continues as we start heading north. We stop in the charming town of Tomar, which was a religious center for the Knights Templar during the 12th century. Check out the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Convento de Cristo, and Armoral Castle before our tapas-style lunch at a local restaurant. Our final destination is Porto. The food and nightlife is becoming more international, but overall, the city atmosphere remains old world with steep cobbled streets, red tiled roofs, and intricate Baroque buildings. You will find a lot of buildings tiled with the signature Azulejo blue tiles, which have Moorish roots. On day seven, we discover Porto, one of the oldest UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Our expert will show us the city through the eyes of a local and point out the most popular sites. We even get to explore Lelo Bookstore with its intricately wrought spiral staircase that supposedly was the inspiration for the grand staircase at Hogwarts in the Harry Potter books. J.K. Rowling partly wrote her books in Porto while working here as an English teacher. You will not want to miss this once in a lifetime selfie opportunity. The day would not be complete without a port wine tasting in Villanova de Gaia. Ask our expert where the locals eat and make plans for a lovely dinner with travel companions. On day eight, you will have another day in Porto to spend as you like, but you may want to join our optional excursion to the famous Douro wine region. We'll hit a bike trail across the wine terraces past rolling hills covered with vines, olive trees, and poppies. Afterward, we'll visit a wine cellar to taste some of the best Port and Douro wines together with a hearty lunch. The cost for this optional excursion is $155 per person. In the evening, enjoy Portuguese cuisines one last time at our farewell dinner, then listen to the soulful national soundtrack, Fado Music. And then day nine will be your day to travel home. So this tour will be taking place from September 11th to the 19th, and the land package price in a twin share room is going to be $1,865 per person. Again, there will be a $500 deposit due at the time of booking to secure your spot on the tour. And then the final payment date will be June 14th. The group size again is going to be 35 people. And then you are welcome to bring friends and family. We just try to keep them within the same age range of the young alumni. All right, so next we are going to go over the Peru tour. And I have the final poll question for you guys. How long is the classic Inca Trail? Okay, you guys did really well with this one too. The answer was 26 miles. 
Okay, so now we have a quick message from our tour director, Nicoletta. Hi, lovely traveler. Your ASU tour director, Nicoletta, here. I see that you're interested in exploring one of the oldest civilizations on Earth, and we are ready to take you on this amazing journey. Welcome to Peru. Full of natural wonders and historical treasures, Peru is waiting for you to explore it the next year. You will flow through the largest river in the world, feel the atmosphere of spectacular Machu Picchu, and also live the life of locals in such traditional clothes like poncho, and try their local specialties like Peruvian pisco, which is absolutely delicious. Sounds good to you? But there is so much more adventure and interesting stuff on the way for you. Peru is really one of a kind, and I am sure you will absolutely love this experience. Ready to explore a new country next year? Let's face the Peruvian adventure. See you on the road. All right. Okay, so day one will be your travel day. And then on day two, we will begin our adventure in Peru by exploring the city of Cusco or you can consider joining an optional excursion to nearby archeological sites offered for $35 per person. We will visit Sacsayhuaman Fortress, which is strategically located on top of a hill overlooking the city of Cusco, as well as Kenko, where the Incans worship the sun, moon, and stars, Puka Pucara, which may have served as an inn for the Incan emperor and his entourage, and finally the ruins of Tambo Mache which consists of a series of canals and waterfalls that run through the terraced rocks. Then in the evening, join us for a special welcome dinner where you'll get to experience a variety of traditional specialties while being entertained by local dance performers. On the morning of day three, we start our journey to the Sacred Valley. Our destination is Aliantaitambo which is a small town built around an impressive Incan fortress and soaring peaks of the Andes. Climb up over 200 steps for an amazing view and a closer look at the astonishing monoliths that make up the Temple of the Sun. This was the site of a rare Inca victory over the Spanish in 1538 led by Manco Inca. Day four has us exploring the sacred valley of the Incas. First, we'll reach the Moray archeological site where giant Incan circular and semicircular agricultural terraces were constructed to be used as a botanical laboratory. Next in Maras, we'll hike down to the largest salt pans in the region, which have been mined continuously since the Incan Empire. Leaving Maras, we'll arrive at the village of Pichingoto, the top salt producer during the Spanish colonial era. On day five, we board our private motor coach to the Aliantaitambo train station. The expedition train will take us on a scenic journey to kilometer 104, where we join the Camino Inca. From here, we start our trek to the Chachabamba site, then ascend to a striking waterfall. After lunch, our hike continues to the Inti Ponco, or Sun Gate, with an amazing view of Machu Picchu and the perfect opportunity for a selfie. We'll continue to Aguas Calientes by a motor coach with some free time to explore the thermo medicinal hot springs. On day six, it's finally time to hike up to the Machu Picchu ruins, a national sanctuary, UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site, and one of the new seven wonders of the world. Our local expert shows us the breathtaking and mysterious ruins as we climb up to the top of Mount Juana Picchu Quechua for a young mountain on the eastern side of the central cordillera. This peak shelters another archaeological site, the Temple of the Moon, which is connected to Machu Picchu. After our hike, we'll return to Aguas Calientes for lunch of local Peruvian fare before boarding our train back to Aliantaitambo. Our final stop is Cusco, where we'll share stories and photos with newfound friends during our farewell dinner of local specialties. Day seven will be our last day together and our local historian will take us on a tour of the impressive imperial city of Cusco, an example of the harmonious existence, uh, sorry, coexistence of the Andean and Spanish cultures. 
see the Cori Concha, an ancient sacred space, the Incans de dedicated to the worship of the sun and the moon, as well as the main square with the imposing cathedral and magnificent Jesuit church. We finish our tour with a visit to the Bohemian neighborhood of San Blas, known as the Artist District, with narrow winding streets lined with popular arts and crafts shops before heading to the airport for our overnight flights home. And then day eight will be the day that you'll actually arrive back in the US. Okay, so this tour is going to be taking place from October 19th to the 25th. And the land package price for a twin share room is going to be $1,985 per person. Again, there is a $500 deposit due at the time of booking that will secure your spot on the tour. And then the final payment date for this trip is going to be June 22nd. The group size again is going to be maxed out at 35. And then with all of our young alumni tours, you're welcome to bring friends and family. We just try to keep them within the age range of the 22 to 35 year olds. All right, now I'm gonna just go over some um, helpful information about our tours in general. Um, so AESU can book your flights for you and there are many advantages to booking your airfare with us. Uh, first and most important is going to be peace of mind that we know where you are on your flights at all times. If your flight is delayed or canceled, the airline will inform us and then we can pass that information onto the tour director or if necessary, assist with rebooking. Another reason to book air with us is that you'll receive free transfers to and from the airports overseas if you're traveling on the regular tour dates. And then if you need to change your flights, you can call us and we can take care of that for you. And then just depending on the type of change, the airline may be charging fees. Um, for more information on flights or any flight questions that you have, you can always contact our reservations department by phone or email. As for spending money, make sure you take a small amount of cash with you. During your travels, we find that ATM and credit cards are the best ways to exchange money. Just be sure that your credit card is on a major network and call your bank before leaving to let them know that you'll be using your cards outside of the country. Otherwise, um, they could put a fraud alert on your card or they could cancel your card entirely. As far as documents you'll need, everyone will need a valid passport to travel and your passport will need to be valid for at least six months past your return date. If you're not a US citizen, you'll wanna call your consulate to see if you are in need of a visa. Um, but for these trips, US citizens will not need a visa. Your final tour documents will be emailed to you approximately three to four weeks prior to your tour's departure and will also be available to download from your ASU account. Um, for hints on packing and luggage, be sure to check out links on our website for suggestions. You're allowed to take one carry-on bag, such as a backpack, in addition to a purse and one check bag with a maximum weight of 50 pounds. And then your final documents will include the updated rules from the TSA on carry-on bags. When it comes to taking electronics, we do advise taking as few as possible and leaving your laptop or tablets at home. Just remember that anything you take with you can also be lost, stolen, or broken. If you bring your smartphone, be sure to check on international rates, especially data roaming uh, with your carrier. We would advise turning data roaming off while traveling unless your carrier offers an affordable international package. Please be aware that Wi-Fi uh, might not be available at all hotels for free. Um, some hotels offer free service in the public area, such as the hotel lobby. Some may offer complimentary service throughout the hotel. Uh, some may offer service at a charge anywhere in the hotel, and some may not offer Wi-Fi or it could be spotty depending on where you are. Um, there are internet hotspots and a lot of public areas do offer free Wi-Fi. Uh, just keep in mind that these places, including your hotels, can be very busy and the connection might not be very strong. Um, we find a lot of the airports also offer free Wi-Fi, so that's a great way for you to connect with the group via our group messaging app upon arrival. And so we will be using a group messaging app. Um, we have been using the Band app for several years now. So it's a free app that you can download. Uh, we'll be sending you invitations and instructions a little bit closer to the tourist departure, typically about three to four weeks out. And this is gonna be a great way for you to connect with fellow travelers. And then um, as we get closer to the tourist departure, we'll add the tour director to the group so you can ask them any questions. Um, 
we find that this is a great way to compare flights, you know, start to plan what you're going to do in your free time, um, maybe figure out who your roommate is. So definitely a great way to kind of connect with everyone before departing for the tour. Um, we will be doing a photo contest. So this is a great opportunity for you to share your amazing photos and videos of your group, landscapes, any special moments. Um, and we will, as we're closer, provide instructions on how you can submit those, as well as prize information and deadlines, all that good stuff. So a few helpful hints um, before we get into the next section, make sure you take a book or some games for the rides between cities. If you have a student ID, be sure to take it with you because extra discounts may be available at select stores, sites, or museums. Um, before you leave, try to plan out things you might want to do during your free time. If there are certain museums or sites, you can purchase tickets online so that you already have them when you get there, which allows you to skip some of the long lines. Uh, definitely be sure to make copies of all of your important documents, including your passport, credit card, travel documents, hotel list, etc. Last but not least, have fun. These are designed to be trips of a lifetime that you're going to remember forever. All right, so I have some information regarding COVID-19 that I'll go over for you guys. Um, we are offering the freedom to change your mind. We have implemented flexible booking policies so that you can plan your future travel with us um, with complete peace of mind. So you can change your mind for any reason and cancel at least 60 days prior to your tour's departure. Um, and you can change to another AESU trip uh, for no uh, fees or penalties. Um, we will apply the full amount of your land tour uh, that you've paid through any trip um, through the end of 2022. So these policies are subject to change and any vouchers are not redeemable for cash. And then the airfare penalties are separate and are governed by the individual airlines. Um, so you can change your mind up until 60 days prior to the tourist departure. We won't charge you anything to change to another Young Alumni trip. Um, you can convert your payment to a travel voucher that again will be valid through the end of 2022. Or if you opt for a cash refund, our standard refund policy will apply. As far as the tour status, we will be providing a status update for each tour no later than 75 days prior to the tourist departure. Um, so if government regulations or CDC recommendations would prohibit us from safely operating the tour, we will provide a full refund of the land cost, less minimal fees for administrative costs, including uh, credit card processing if applicable. Um, in the event that a change in circumstances within 75 days of departure forced us to cancel a trip, we will provide a travel voucher for 100% of the land cost paid. And then that travel voucher can be used as payment towards a future tour with us through the end of 2022. Um, as far as traveling safely while you're on the tour, you will need to bring your own mask. Um, our guides have received enhanced health and safety training and the AESU headquarters support team is available 24 seven to assist our tour directors and local experts just to ensure seamless communication and a safe experience for everyone. Um, when seeing the sites in major cities, AESU does provide wireless listening equipment so that local guides don't have to crowd you together or shout over others. And then safety guidelines, especially at major tourist sites, will be consistently changing. So our team will be monitoring the situation in each location that you'll be visiting on a daily basis to make sure that you know exactly what to expect. Um, itineraries will be subject to change due to local factors. And then all of our suppliers, including hotels, restaurants, transportation companies, and activity providers are enhancing disinfectant protocols for your added safety. All vehicles will undergo rigorous daily cleaning and hand sanitizer will be provided before boarding. We'll also ensure that hand sanitizer is available throughout each trip during excursions and in hotels. Um, all of our hotels are vetted to ensure that they meet or exceed government mandated standards of cleanliness and service. And then we do have more information on our travel with confidence document, uh, which can be found at the link provided here, which you can access through the um, AESU.com slash UMD link that I mentioned earlier. Okay, so I am going to open it up to questions. 
Um, so you guys, I have a couple that I think came through while we were going through the presentation. Um, anyone who has questions can feel free to submit those now. And I'm just going to take a second to look what we have here. Um, okay, so the first question that we have is about the age range that I mentioned, the 22 to 35. Um, so we do try to keep the young alumni tour specifically to this age range. Um, we do offer tours for all ages, um, or I'm sure Angela would be able to suggest any tours that were available for all alumni of any ages. Um, let's see. Okay, so the next question we have is, are these only for University of Maryland alumni or can we take family and friends? Um, yeah, so you are welcome to take family and friends with you. If they're not University of Maryland alumni, that's fine. Um, again, we just do recommend keeping it within the 22 to 35 age range. Um, okay, we have a question about needing special health insurance for emergencies. Um, we do recommend travel insurance. Um, we have a company that we recommend or University of Maryland has, a, I believe University of Maryland has a company that they use, yeah. So once you have booked the tour, you will be receiving more information from the Alumni Association on travel insurance. Um, we do highly recommend it, especially with everything going on these days. Um, it looks like we have some flight questions, uh, how to sign up for a flight quote, is it through a separate website and um, some questions about pricing. Um, so requesting a flight quote is easy. When you go to make your reservation, all you need to do is list the US city that you'd be looking to depart from. And then we will go ahead and add a flight quote to your reservation and send you an updated invoice. Um, we ask that you let us know within about two weeks if you want us to change that flight um, in any way or if you want us to remove it from your reservation. Otherwise, as long as we've received your $500 deposit, it is secure for you. Um, as far as pricing, it does vary. It's going to depend on where you're leaving from, what your travel dates are, what your destination is. So again, if you have any questions on flights, um, you're welcome to request a quote at any time. Or if you just wanted to uh, give us a call or send us an email, we're happy to provide any quotes that you need. Um, okay, so the $500 deposit is going to be uh, put towards the total cost for the trip. Um, so it's not in addition to. Um, the $500 deposit can be paid at the time of booking online by credit card. And that will secure not only your spot on the tour, but also requested flights if you're requesting a quote. And then the rest of the land package will be paid by the final payment date. Um, as far as final payment, you can use a credit card or you can mail us a check. Um, any payments by credit card made beyond the $500 deposit are subject to a 4% processing fee. So if you prefer to pay by check to avoid that fee, that's fine. And then we do go by the postmark date as far as the final payment date. So as long as you get it in the mail by that date, that's fine. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, what if I'm traveling as a single traveler? How am I roomed with others and how will I spend my free time? Um, yeah, so if you are signing up as a single traveler and you would like to be roomed with someone else, we will do our best to room you with another single traveler of the same gender. Um, if you are signing up and you already know who you'd like to room with, you can simply list them on the booking form. Um, but as far as spending free time, we typically find that depending on uh, which location you're in, the group kind of breaks down into smaller groups just dependent on what everyone wants to see and do that day. Um, so we really don't typically have problems of, you know, one traveler doesn't have anyone to explore with. Everyone really, um, first of all, becomes close friends on the trips. And then second of all, uh, like I said, they just typically break up depending on what they wanna do. Um, so I always say, if you're a single traveler, please don't let that stop you from signing up for the tour because I can say from experience, you're gonna meet people that are gonna become lifelong friends on these trips. Um, how and when do we sign up for the optional excursions and how are they paid? Um, so we have uh, created the option for you to sign up for the optional excursions when you're booking the tour. 
Um, but if you're not sure at that time what you want to sign up for, that's not a problem. We will be uh, sending something out to you about a month prior to the tour's departure, and that will let you uh, list which excursions that you'd like to sign up for and pay for them with credit card. So that will all be done uh, prior to the tour's departure. But you can do it at the time of booking or you can do it when we send that out about a month prior. Okay. Um, as far as exactly how much hiking is involved in the Peru trip, I don't have like an exact number of miles or so for you. Um, I will say that while it is an active tour, you don't need to be an avid hiker um, or, you know, in the best hiking shape. We um, definitely have had people from our office go who enjoy hiking but are not, you know, regular hikers and they were fine. Um, they'll also be, you know, prepping you before hiking with the altitude change and all of that. So um, I definitely think that will be okay. Okay, we do have a few other tours that we're offering. Um, so we highlighted these three tours today, the Morocco, the Portugal, and the Peru. Um, we do have a few other tours that are being offered in 2021. Um, so we do have a tour to Ireland in September, um, Dubai also in September, and then a really cool New Year's Eve trip to Austria in December. Um, so again, you can go to aesu.com slash University of Maryland to check that uh, those out. And then we do have um, some trips that we're starting to promote for 2022. Um, so we're going to Egypt in May and then Italy in September. Um, and again, there is the link to uh, visit to find out about all of those trips. Um, let's see, do most people typically go alone or go with friends? Um, for these tours, it really varies. We have, I would say, a lot of travelers are signing up on their own. Um, we do have a handful of travelers who sign up with a significant other or with a close friend. Um, but again, I do, I do think that we see a lot uh, signing up by themselves. So again, I just always say, never let that stop you if you're worried about traveling by yourself. Um, will we have a chance to meet people and talk before the tour? Uh, yeah, so we'll be hosting the group messaging app. And like I mentioned, we will be sending that out about a month prior to the tour's departure. That is a great way for you to um, meet the other people who you're going to be traveling with. Um, you can compare flights and things like that. I know um, leaving from Maryland, a lot of people will be leaving from Dulles. So maybe coordinating rides to the airport, things like that. Um, planning out what you want to do in your free time. Uh, packing, and then we will be adding the tour direction to the group uh, about a week or so prior to the tour's departure, and um, that will give you a chance to ask any questions that you have uh, last minute. Um, so real quick, I'm going to send everyone a message with the link to the University of Maryland page where you can find all of the tours. Okay, um, so I think that was about all the questions. Um, if I missed anyone's question, feel free to send me an email or um, give me a call. Uh, my contact information is listed here, but my email is just christine at aesu.com, um, or you can call our general reservations number and we will answer any questions that you have. Um, I am going to wrap up, but real quick, I'm going to go over the winners for the uh, poll prizes. So it looks like Okay, let's see. Okay. 
it looks like our first winner is Karina Buko. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, so you won the uh, $100 AESU travel voucher. And I will send you an email with all of the information that you need for that. And then for the cookbooks, our winner is Abiola. So I will let Angela from the Alumni Association know and she will uh, reach out to you for that. And then for the duffel bags, our winner is Brooke Hess. All right, um, so I will be reaching out to Karenna about the uh, travel voucher and I will have Angela contact Abiola and Brooke about those other prizes. Um, okay, so I just wanna thank everyone for coming on today and for uh, listening about these tours. I hope that this was a helpful session and hopefully got you excited about future travel. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, again, if anybody has any follow-up questions, if I missed any questions in the chat um, or if anything comes to mind after the presentation is over, feel free to send myself or my colleague Maggie an email. Um, our contact information is listed here, or you can always give us a call. We are happy to help with any general questions, um, any flight questions, anything that you can think of. Um, if anybody is looking to book and needs assistance with the booking process, we're happy to help with that. Um, so just want to thank you guys again for coming on today. Hope that you enjoyed the session and we hope that we'll see you with us this fall. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.